Hello everyone, welcome back to another eventing vlog. Um, today we are at Zazu's yard, so change of scenery. Here she is, eating her breakfast. I don't think I've filmed an event vlog from here for a while, probably not since last season. For anybody new watching this, this is Pizzazz, my event horse, but I don't own her, my aunt owns her, so quite often before events she comes home home to my home. But this weekend we are going from her home, so yeah, her home here. Anyway, today we are off to Waveton House again. Uh, we were there back in April for their first event, for the Cotswolds Cup first event, and this is the second event of the season at Waverton. Um, in the 100 again, she's having some electrolytes in her feed this morning because it is going to be the hottest day of the year today. Uh, 30 degrees, I think. Can you come and say hello? No. 30 degrees later and we're on in the afternoon, so it's going to be pretty, pretty hot. And as you know, she is black and she really doesn't like the heat, so not an ideal situation. But what can you do? We will do our best. Um, yeah, just going to get her platted up. It's currently only nine o'clock. We're leaving in a couple of hours or an hour and a half, something like that. So plenty of time, need to pack the lorry. She was bathed yesterday. Hopefully she has stayed nice and clean under this fly rug. She's not really giving you a very good look of her at the moment because she's busy eating, but you'll see her later on. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Back at Waverton, hopefully have a good successful day like last time. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be really, really hot. So lots and lots of water. Hey Zazzy. Are you gobbling it up? She wasn't too keen on the electrolytes last night, but she was a bit more keen this morning for them. Plats are all in. Actually, I'll go this way because you can see. Not too bad. And her tail plat. Much better than my attempt last time, because I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, her forelock one. I will roll up when we get there, but I was quite impressed with the actual plat. Hey, look at you. She's a bit um, unhappy because Scooby has left her. Um, so she's in by herself now. We're almost ready to go, aren't we? Yeah? Good girl. You're a good girl. Zazie's got her studs all in, ready to go. I'm fly spraying. Luckily, there's actually a nice breeze here today, isn't there, Zazie? So, not as hot yet as we hoped, but it is still pretty hot, isn't it? Zazie looking raring to go, as always. Hey? But she looks very smart. And we're just going to try not to completely melt in the sun. Luckily, no jackets, but it's hot, isn't it, Zaz? Snoozing. So here we go. Here is my dressage test. I've only watched it through once on video, so it's still kind of pretty live reaction. Um, here you can see I'm really having to give her a big kick to keep her going. I think they ring the bell just as I come around this corner. I thought, even though it was lazy, her frame was much shorter than it normally is, like her overall frame. She can be so long and um, strung out, and I thought we kind of kept it together a bit in a shorter frame, even if it was quite lazy. So the judge has left lots of marks. I will try and read as many as I can. Um, sorry, she's left loads of comments. I'll try and read through as many, and maybe I'll put the marks on the screen. <clears throat> so coming in... Um, she says straight entry but cut the corner, which I thought was a shame. I let me see if I cut the corner. We turn left, I think. Yep. Yeah. And we got six point five for this. Yeah, I did turn a bit soon, didn't I? And then we trot round to E, and at E we do a fifteen metre circle, and we got a six more correct bend and activity needed. Yeah, she's a bit hesitant. Left rein is her worst rein. But I was trying to get, go for just like the size of the circle. She didn't comment on that, so I think it was okay. 
And obviously she is resisting against me, but she's not super long and strung out. And then we do, I've done this test before, so if you watch my last Waverton, it's the same. These half 10 meter loops with your three to five walk strides over X. Sorry if you can hear the dog in the background. Um, which we got 6.5s for, more activity needed. But last time we got a comment that they weren't straight, so I was just trying to ride them more accurately. And now we're going into another 15 meter circle which we got 6.5, more activity, um, yeah, but I just, obviously it's lazy, but I think she doesn't look as long as she often does. Then at A, we go into walk, medium walk, shock horse 6.5, that's kind of the mark of the test. Medium walk to K, and then KE, we free walk. I didn't think her medium was too bad. Her free walk is often better than her medium walk, so I was just trying to aim for that part of the mark. We got a six for this, which is a shame because it's obviously the double marks. I thought this free walk wasn't too bad. Um, what did they say? More relaxation needed. Oh, and over the centre line there, we have to pick back up to medium walk. And then between B and F, we trot. And again, this is last time where I kind of went wrong at Waverton 1. So I remembered the test this time. And then in this corner, we right canter, obedient but rather flat, which is fair enough. And we got a 6.5 for that. And then we canter all the way down, more active jump needed. Yes, you can see me kicking away there. She was very lazy. And then we do a 20 meter circle, which we got a six for, which she says more activity and less on shoulders. But, I don't know, compared to some tests with pizzazz, I didn't think this was, I think she was snorting there. Too, like, her head shape isn't too bad, but she's just so lazy. And then we trot just before B and do our half 10 metre loops with the walk strides over X, which we got um, 7 for. This was our best mark. Yay. Um, it wasn't very good, but we got a 7. And we got no comment. That was, ugh, that left rein was horrible, but... She didn't see that, apparently. And then working canter left, we got a five and a half. Answered aid, but barely cantering. <laughs> yep, she is barely cantering. Look at her hind end. Here, I did have to go, like, at the top and hope that the judge wouldn't see, hear me and look at my legs. I am kicking her as much as I can, and she just is so lazy. So we got a six for this 20-metre circle. More activity needed. I am just praying that she doesn't trot. She's so tricky, this mare. <laughs> she's so naughty, because you go into show jumping and she's absolutely fine. And then we have to trot at E. And at least her downward transition was obedient. And trot down the centre line, halt salute. We got a 6-4, which again was a shame. Falling on shoulders, losing rhythm on turn, but a nice halt. Because I, she did a really nice halt, like, that is a good square halt. coming it's okay um, and there's a really nice breeze actually so we should be all right but we're nearly finished walking and it's such a nice setting and then we're gonna go walk show jumping dressage was okay considering how hot it was it wasn't too bad she was her normal lazy self but I wouldn't say she was any more lazy than normal so we'll have to just wait and see but yeah I'm going good just very windy which is really good I thought it was gonna be awful but it's very nice weather actually
She redeemed herself with a very good clear cross country, so we're going to put her back in now. Um, and go and get our dressage store sheet and see what they thought. Back home, safe and sound. So I'll do a quick debrief because I haven't really done one of the day um, at all, I don't think. Uh, I did after dressage actually because I said I didn't think it was too bad, but um, we actually got. 38.8 so it wasn't actually that good at all but uh, never mind it was quite a harsh section I would say we weren't the worst in the section so that's something um I think you probably would have seen my my scores or something when I when I when you watched it anyway show jumping um again it's just it was a bit of a meh round like she started off jumping quite well we had the second part of the first double first one stride down which she barely touched that was really annoying that was like a typical unlucky pole because you did barely touch it you were jumping well and then no you're not come on and then uh, no Zazie then I did get her a bit deep to the colourful upright which was the one I was most worried about because it was such a like gappy jump so we had that one down which was frustrating um but actually looking on eventing scores it wouldn't have made any difference like to our dressage score if we had jumped clear come on come on and then finally cross country the part that we enjoy the most hey Zaz. she was really good because i've told you here it was actually quite a tricky technical course a lot of people were having um issues um yeah there was a lot of penalties, eliminations, withdrawals. It was quite a tough track, hey? But um, you would have seen quite a lot of it. I think we got quite a lot on film. Pizzazz was so good, clear inside the time. So at least we finished the day on a high. Unfortunately, no top 10 placing today, which means no points for the, like, the league table, for the champs, which we really want to try and qualify for. So we'll have to wait till the next one to try again, uh, which is Barbary. So, that's Zazie's next event in about a month or so. Hopefully it won't be quite as hot that day and you might enjoy it a bit more. But yes, that was today's eventing vlog. Waverton House 2. Not as good as Waverton House 1, but never mind. She was still a good girl. And she can go out now and enjoy Zaz the evening sun. Come on!
No, she hasn't drunk all day, so I'm hoping she's actually going to have a drink. Yeah, she refused to drink the apple juice. She had some carrots, an apple maybe. Good girl.